If you enjoy spending your summer nights outside, you've probably heard the cicadas. Now, some students in central Illinois are trying to save them. WCI3's Amanda Brennan traveled to Kempton today and talked to students and teachers. There used to be 297,000 acres of old prairie in Ford County, and now there's like five, six acres of good prairie. But students are working in the space that is left. It's behind their school, TriPoint Elementary in Kempton, and now there are prairie cicadas in that spot. These are very select places where you have to look to get these cicadas at this point because they require prairies that have been undisturbed totally, and that's just few and far between these days. This prairie has been here nearly 50 years, but this is the first time these cicadas are being protected back here. But they're different than the regular tree cicadas that you see in your backyard. And they have this nice, beautiful golden orange color to their backs with black and white spots. They're very, very distinct. The students rescued some prairie cicadas from Paxton and Buckley. They were near invasive species in railroad tracks. Phoebe Davies found one of the females. How did you know it was a female cicada? Um, the body. We brought that one back, put her on a plant here in an enclosure, immediately laying eggs. Trace Rogers is one of the students. It's a hands-on activity that you can do for something that is going to last hundreds, if not maybe thousands, you know. If somebody keeps it up, pass it down the line. And the students want to keep it going. They say they've learned a lot while outside. The males have the two, like, orangish yellow drums on their stomach, which are called tembles. It's pretty cool because I didn't know that until I met up with Mr. Saffer. And Saffer says that was one of his goals. And I want those kids to be able to realize in their backyard, there's amazing things here. They are hoping to publish their groundbreaking cicada research, and that'll be presented at a conference. The five students are the co-authors. Zaffer says this even gives them some experience with scientific writing. Pretty cool right there. All right, Andrew.